vlog. I'll take you guys with me to IOM Health Center so you guys can know the step-by-step -step processes for getting some medical for Canada. So right now, I'm currently waiting for my grab and it's 7.30 and ang appointment ko is at 7. No, it's at 8. Hopefully, hindi tayo late. Before we go there, it's very important to check out the things that you need to bring. Actually, prior to your appointment, they will send you an email and also a text message of the downloadable links that you need to present your appointment. I have it right here. It's an envelope. And nandito yung tatlong downloadable uh, forms that I have filled out already. You can fill it out electronically. You also have to sign it on the day itself. I think if I'm not mistaken, about three to four forms were sent to me by email and also by text. Another thing that you should also bring with you is your VAC certificate or your vaccination card, your passport, your current passport, and two valid IDs. For me, I don't have another valid ID, so I'm just taking on the chance of bringing my passport and my driver's license only because those two are the only valid IDs that I have. Ito na yung grab. So we chose IOM because my friends tell me that it's easy out there as opposed to other health centers, so we chose this over St. Luke's. I don't think I properly explained to you how to get an appointment at IOM. And to set an appointment, you'd have to go to their website, which I think is mymedical.iom. I'll just put it here and also in the description box below so you can check it out. I think the fee for this is around 10,000 only. I also scheduled another appointment with another health center because I thought I wasn't going to be able to go today. The fee there was around 12,000 as opposed to this, 10,000 only. So it's pretty good to get yours at IOM Health Center. Okay, so without further ado, let's go on and I'll take you guys with me.
I mean, for me, it was. Hindi ako yung nabagot na sa kakahintay. Okay lang naman yung tagal. Actually, hindi siya ganun katagal. If you compare it sa magpapamedical ka talaga sa totoong hospital, tuloy-tuloy yung pagsabi nila ng numbers. And the only, the only part where I was kind of waiting long was the end part na where I was waiting for my physical examination. But other than that, it was pretty flawless. And uh, super daming tao doon. Like, ramdam mo na maraming gustong mag-Canada and UK talaga. Anyway, so, I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. And then, I'm gonna go home and then do my schoolwork because I'm still in school. Yung mga important keynotes ng guys, if you guys are planning to go here in IOM Makati, please bring a face shield. Never thought that would be kailangan in this age, in this, in, in this month. Kailangan pa siya when going inside or else hindi ka makakapasok. Um, the second one is cash lang ang pwede mong ibayad sa cashier. Bawal bank transfer, bawal GCash, bawal whatever, bawal card, cash. They had to withdraw dito sa nearest ATM ng video which is just a few walks away. It's not even a block away. If you are going here without cash, mag-withdraw ka muna sis. Sorry if hindi ako masyadong nakukuha ng footage. Bawal daw mag-video inside.